hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Nanya is a evil babe for life and today's video we are going to be hitting on a very very you know spicy topic we're going to be breaking some tables okay we're not breaking any tables today okay the last time i broke tables some people came from me and i didn't like that so we're not breaking any tables today okay we're just going to be talking about a regular topic that i feel people should know about so yeah anyways you're welcome to this video and if you're just seeing this face for the first time my name is Benya Eze I'm a youtuber based in the abroad Canada to be precise and um yeah I make videos on lifestyle vlogs you know <laughs> just all that good stuff and yeah you're welcome and please do not make it your last so my returning subscribers you guys are the absolute best thank you so much for tuning into this channel and yeah thank you so much for always being with me all the step of the way so yeah you are welcome so today we're going to be talking about marriages and how we cope in abroad for people like us that are married how we deal with this thing called marriage in the abroad so if you're interested in that type of video please sit back and enjoy this video Okay, guys you are welcome i already said that already so today we are going to be talking about marriage but before i start okay before i start i'm going to tell you that what works for you might not work for me or what works for me might not work for you okay there is no book that says oh this is how marriage is or this is how marriage should be there is no book that defines a marriage okay marriage is always you know different for me and other people that are married it's not the same boat okay i think i'm sweating is that sweat i think it's a topic the topic is making me sweat anyways so yeah i'm going to talk about my own experience okay because i can speak well for myself like i said so yeah coming to this abroad you know things changed okay you are used to a type of lifestyle like when i was in the nigeria or when i was in nigeria rather i do not do anything but sit down at home and care for my kids i was like a full-time housewife even though i knew i'd you know just finished school like recently there was no way i could get a job that fast but things changes basically when you come here like i said i was not doing anything i was used to you know sitting down at home living the baby girl lifestyle with a house help you know and i had kids so it didn't feel like i had kids like basically my mom would just bond the kids and chill you know so coming into this part of the world you know it's a bit different okay you are used to a part of sorry you're used to a certain type of lifestyle and then you come in here and everything just you know changes it's just could get overwhelming and that could also tell on your marriage i'm talking from my own experience so things changed okay so i'm like ah what is happening i'm stressed i'm this i'm overwhelmed that was literally like my national anthem when i newly came in here but i'm glad that we were able to sit down and talk about it as a couple understand each other and understand each other's views and where we're coming from you know he also had his own complaints okay I, would, I i wasn't the only one that had my own complaints he had his own complaints and we were able to talk about it and walk through it and see how you know we can make things easier and better for us okay i will not say that my marriage is the best i have a perfect marriage okay like <laughs> let's see this for marriage <laughs> it's so perfect no I don't have a perfect marriage okay i'm not even gonna come here and sugarcoat it okay i don't know how to do that i rather not talk about it or i do but i cannot sugarcoat something that is not happening nobody's marriage is perfect anybody that comes to this youtube street and tell you that oh is this is that my sister it's not like that most times when they do that is the opposite okay <laughs> anyways like i said i don't have a perfect marriage we are all learning even inside the marriage you thought you are brilliant you are good to go you are odogu in the aspect of being smart when it comes to marriage but you are not we are still learning i'm four years and getting to five years of marriage next year and i'm still learning okay <laughs> i'm not perfect nobody's perfect he's not perfect and i'm not perfect so two imperfect human beings coming together to make things work lots of things changed and i'm happy that as a couple we were able to talk about those things so if you're coming here and you're married 
sit with your spouse you guys should talk about it okay always learn to communicate i know i've done a topic like this but you see communication communication is something that i don't know people just underestimate when i mean communication i also mean communication in when you guys are like heated up like quarreling arguing and you guys like are trying to communicate that kind of communication is what you need to learn not the one that everywhere is calm and you're just talking and using all the sugar sweet words and no i'm talking about how do you communicate when you guys are in a heated argument how do you guys pass the information that probably the other person isn't hearing you because the conversation is being heated you need to learn that communication is something that I see me that I'm talking, I'm still learning. Like I said, this this <laughs> this communication, even your babe here, I'm still learning it. Okay, there are sometimes you just have to be mute and listen and allow it to enter your head. Not only as women, okay. I'm talking to the men. So please, this video is not for women alone, it's also for the men. Sometimes communication is not even sometimes, all the times, communication really goes a long way it goes as far as helping you in the aspect that you do not think it will communication is very very important you guys okay try to learn that because it will really help you in this place okay so yeah so like i said when i came into this place called the abroad and eh, i had a help in nigeria my life was so simple and easy i got to make decisions when i want to i was you know leaving the baby girl lifestyle i can just come out get up and be going out if i want to like i didn't have anybody to tell me oh or any child to come and you know stop me from living my life okay because i had a help so coming in here my life changed okay i cannot go out the way i want to go out in fact this place is not even a place that you can just make decisions on your own you need to make decisions with your spouse you guys are in this together because if you are here and you want to be doing that one 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 on my own thing my sister it will not work look especially when it comes to the aspect of children now i have kids i have two kids if you do not know so it could be a bit overwhelming okay your spouse and yourself need to join hands together and bring up those kids when i mean bring up those kids i don't just mean educational wise or like trying to impact knowledge or whatsoever on your child i mean in like the upbringing or in matters that affect the home what do i mean by that baiting of the kids caring of the kids feeding them all those little little work that men normally think is not work is work is work and you need help you need help this place is a two-way something one person cannot be doing everything on their own your spouse should be able to help you out okay because this place is a lot we don't have any help for me i'm speaking for the women here now at this point i'm not trying to be one-sided but i mean we don't have any help we don't have anybody but you you guys or you men <laughs> so anyways i'm not talking for myself because i know that my spouse my partner does a lot of helping out okay when i came in here it was overwhelming for everybody we're trying to understand what just happened okay like simple life all of a sudden it's just a bit overwhelming sometimes it takes time for these men okay we have to try to give them time and also try to tell them to keep trying because some people just give up and just say okay you know what he's not listening let me just do everything on my own you start doing everything concerning the kids and you still have to care for yourself and you still have to care for your husband so it could be a lot okay don't give up don't give up always keep asking for help with time eventually they'll come around i know they will they always do okay see this place they will come around don't worry my sister keep asking that man you need help you need help you cannot do everything on your own <laughs> i'm talking because i know this i have two kids here and i know how stressful and very very tiring it could get right especially if you're working too if you have to mix in going to work and also caring for your family it could be a lot so it's okay to ask for help it's okay for you and your spouse to put hands together and make things easier for yourself because two heads are better than one okay imagine in the aspect of going to church now let's take for instance now you and your spouse wake up and you guys want to go to church and and you have to bait the kids you have to feed them you have to prepare them make them look fine at least to go to church and you also have to prepare your own self and you also have to prepare your 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 like your food to eat and your husband's food to eat that's a lot imagine one person doing it but when it's two people doing it 
<laughs> you guys will be faster and it's easier and it's better see i don't know about you but me like when i'm doing stops with my husband i feel like it's a way of bonding like <laughs> I don't know if I'm weird, but you know when we are doing like stuff together, like you know when like chores and stuff, you know we are faster and then we are like talking and you're like, oh babe, this, oh babe, that. Hey, remember that day? You know, you guys are just bonding in the moment while you are doing the chores. Okay, so always ask for help. Don't leave everything for yourself alone. Okay, ask for help so that you still be able to have enough time to actually have some me time because as a woman, we need me time more. <laughs> Do not take your mid time for granted. Mid time is very, very important. Okay, I cannot even. Me, yeah, I don't drink my mid time. My mid time very, very important for me. So yeah, that's it. Always ask for help because your husbands and trust me, they will come around. So yeah, the man that I'm talking about just walked in. So guys, another point that I feel like is very, very important in order to make this abroad work for us is handling your home in this. Please, I cannot talk, babe. So yeah, guys, another thing that I feel like could help you guys in this abroad, okay, you and your spouse in this abroad is going on dates. Okay, you guys should still be dating while you guys are in this marriage because, see, I know it's very, very difficult. Okay, I know it's very, very difficult in this place. It may not be as easy as you think because you have to still work. You have to still do a lot of things. It's just sometimes could be overwhelming. I know we cannot not just get overwhelmed. There are some situations where we can't even avoid that. It just happens automatically, okay? And I totally understand. But you have to be intentional, you guys. Like, if you are not intentional about your marriage, I don't know what you want to be intentional about. Putting in the work is very, very important. Because that way, it still brings out the spark that you don't know that is missing. Sometimes what you guys need is to be reminded, like, why you fell in love basically it's very important to keep going on dates i know it's i know it's very very difficult but even though it's once in a month or even once in, a two, in two months so yeah being intentional about your marriage is like really 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 important because it could really save your marriage in a lot of ways you could be intentional in going out for dates you could be intentional in making your sexual life better you could just you know try to put in some spice because see <laughs> the last thing you want to do for yourself is just not focus on your marriage because if you don't focus on your marriage what else do you want to focus on just try i know it's very very difficult okay because i was in that situation of you know saying hey this is so difficult but you can do it okay if i could i don't have two heads right i know you can so not just you okay that's another thing please like i said this video is not just for the women okay the men too have to put in work. When one person is putting in work and the other person is not putting in work, there's no way that thing can work. Okay, it cannot work. The two have to put in work. Or well, at least one person is like trying and the other person is putting in more work. At least it could work that way. Not like one person is not doing anything and the other one is doing too much. It will not work. So, yeah. Okay, so the last thing that I feel like helped me because this is my experience, right? And this is my advice to you, right? um is what i do is that i try to cook in bulk i have days when i cook and i have days when i do not cook okay so when i mean cooking in bulk i mean the days that i cook i just try to cook many meals like two or three meals at once so that i store in the fridge and then the next day i don't have to cook okay because sometimes cooking is a lot of work for some of us like it's not so much for me but sometimes it's like too much and overwhelming i'm like oh my god i don't know if i can do this but you just have to try and you know make meals at the right period of time when you feel like you can when you are not you know so so busy that's why i said me i don't cook every day i try to you know do like bulk cooking that would help me and take me for a long time even though i know i'm a family of four there's no way that food will last me for a long time right that's why i have days when i cook i have days when i don't cook and those days when i cook i make sure i try to cook in bulk i don't just make like one meal so i try to make enough meals or if it's too much for that day i move it to the next day but i cannot cook every day okay this is abroad i've not seen anybody that cooks every day i have not seen except 
I am taking orders. Okay, if you guys don't know, I have a cooking business, which is Nanya's Kitchen on Instagram. So you guys go and check us out. See, I cannot come to this channel and make a sit-down video without promoting my business because why not? Okay, <laughs> so you guys go to my channel on did I say channel? Sorry. You guys go to my Instagram page and make sure to follow us, like our videos, and also place orders or just, you know, link me to somebody that will place orders, you know? <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, that's it. So, back to what we were saying. Um, yeah, just try in your possible best to bring back or bring the life or the spark in your marriage because it's very important especially in this place this place you're quick to get depressed you see all those videos that we see on instagram that oh don't come to canada because don't come to canada because i know some of them are doing too much but sometimes when you think about it you're just like um okay see you are your own happiness okay if you are not intentional about yourself if you're not intentional about making yourself happy you can lose it in this place. So that is why you have to be intentional. When I mean intentional, I'm not just talking to married people now. Even as a single babe that is in this place, you have to be intentional about your happiness. Whatever it is that makes you happy. Is it going out? You can't go out now because it's winter, right? But watching movies, eating what you like, doing things that makes you happy because it's one life, my sister. And apart from that, if you're not happy, who else wants to be happy? Does, does that make any sense? Now, if you're married, you have to be intentional about yourself. Don't try to put other people first every time before you put yourself. You have to put yourself first sometimes, okay? Because sometimes it's good to be selfish. You have to be selfish sometimes and put yourself first. Because you have to take care of yourself. These children, trust me, they love mothers that are happy they love mothers that are taking care of themselves and they are just you know in their best moods because when you are happy you can actually take care of these kids but when you are sad and depressed my sister it's gonna be difficult <laughs> it's gonna be difficult to even handle any other person not talk of yourself i don't know if you get me you have to be intentional <laughs> Women, we have to be intentional. Don't lose yourself. Don't forget yourself. Still take care of yourself. That thing that you like, get it for yourself. Or that thing that you like to eat, go and get it. Eat. Be happy. Because if you're not happy, who else? Like, who else wants to be happy? It's sometimes it's good to be intentional. Like, it's good to be selfish. Yes, I said that. Quote me on this one. <laughs> Anyways. We have come to the end of this video. I hope you guys watch this video to the end because if you are still here and you're still watching, thank you so, so, so much. I appreciate you sitting down and, you know, watching me rant. Yeah, so basically, that's it. So yeah, do not click this channel without subscribing, Sha. You have to subscribe because I cannot come here and talk, 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 and you not subscribe. Maka, why? Tickle, just subscribe to my channel, okay? Click on the bell notification to turn on your bell so that you know whenever i post a video so yeah we've come to the end of this video and i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye guys